If you've been having problems with your NVIDIA GPU, it could be down to your drivers. It can pay to roll back to a previous version of the drivers or to do a fresh install, wiping the drivers off your system completely and then installing a newer version of the drivers. And I'm going to show you how to do that and how to fix problems you might be having. There are some issues that are currently happening, so this might well be relevant. For example, a lot of people are finding that the NVIDIA drivers combined with a display port cable are causing black screen monitors where your monitor is just not turning on or issues with it where it's going black when you're in the middle of playing games, for example, which is obviously not ideal. So I'm going to show you how to roll back drivers to an older version, how to uninstall the drivers cleanly to make sure they're completely gone before you install a newer version of the driver or an older version and a few tips along the way that will really help. So stick with me to see all that. I'd recommend downloading Display Driver Uninstaller, otherwise known as DDU. You can get this from Guru3D and I'll leave a link in the description for it. But if you head over there and download the latest version of this, what we're going to do is run this app to remove the current drivers that you've got in your system. First of all, you need to extract the files. So right click on it in your downloads folder and click extract all. Then it will open up another folder and then you'll see there's DDU version in there. Run that and it will probably run another extractor and then you can run the program. When you first run it, you should see a couple of pop-ups. So you'll see this one and then when you click OK, you'll get into the settings options. And here you want to make sure the NVIDIA specific options are ticked. So remove PhysX, for example, remove broadcast and things like that. You want to make sure they're all set. And then on the next page, you'll see that there's a warning that you're not in safe mode. So the program's detected we're not in safe mode and it won't clean it as effectively. So I would recommend going into safe mode. Safe mode requires a few different steps, but it's pretty easy. So I'll show you how to do that in a second. But first of all, before we get started with that, we're going to download drivers from NVIDIA. So you want to make sure you've got the drivers you're going to need. Search for NVIDIA drivers, head over to the website, and you'll see at the top, that there's an option to download the latest drivers here. Obviously, I'd normally recommend having the latest drivers, but in this instance, at this moment in time, I'm making the video, these are the ones that are causing the problems. So what we want to do instead is to find older ones so that we can roll back. So from the manual driver search, select your GPU and your Windows version and your location and click search. Now this will bring up the current latest drivers again. You can see the studio drivers and the game ready drivers, the driver version number, release date, etc. But what you want to do is click down the bottom where it says view more versions. You can then find a variety of different older generation drivers for the game ready and studio ready drivers in here. And obviously you want to select an older version. Now I've done some research. Obviously there's a lot of people complaining about the current drivers causing issues. In the future you might well find the same sort of thing. It might be worth having a look around and seeing what people are recommending that works for them if they're having similar issues to you. But at this moment I found that the current one that works well for me if you're having black screens with a display port cable is 572.47 which was released on the 20th of February 2025. So download the game ready driver for that and run that on the system in a minute. I'll show you how to do that. But first we obviously need to clean remove the current drivers from our system. On downloading it, you might notice there's a one in brackets at the end of the file name. That might well be because you've already downloaded it previously, so you can see I have previously. So it might be worth looking in your downloads folder because you might find there are several other older GPU drivers if you've been regularly updating your drivers. So you might be able to just roll back using one of these, saving you from downloading from the website and hunting around for the newer version. Just use one that you know is stable. Next stage, we need to get into safe mode. So hold shift on your keyboard, press the Windows start button, click on the power button, then click restart and keep the shift key held down. Keep holding it down until we get to the next point, which is what you'll find is it reboots and then you should see this blue screen. Now you can let go of shift. And what you want to do now is to click on troubleshoot and then advanced options and then startup settings. And there's a number of different steps here to get into safe mode, but don't panic, it's pretty straightforward. And then you can see you have to restart again. And then when you restart again, you'll see more options and you want to press number four on your keyboard to enable safe mode. This then boots into safe mode, which you can see here and basically cuts down on a number of things that are running and ensures that DDU can work more effectively. So if you go into the downloads folder, go back to the DDU download that we got into, find the display driver uninstall application, select the device type as GPU and then NVIDIA from the drop downs on the right hand side. 
And then what you want to do is clean and restart. You'll see clean and do not restart may cause issues like black screen. So use that top one, the highly recommended option of cleaning and restarting the machine. It will then go through various different steps of removing the drivers and all the other parts of the NVIDIA install from previously and any other previous installs. So this can really help to make sure that the system's completely clean. Eventually it will then restart again and you'll find you're back into your standard windows without any NVIDIA drivers installed. To double check this quickly, you can just right click on the desktop, click show more options, and then you should see the NVIDIA control panel is just not there. So this is a minimum indication that we've removed it properly. Click into Explorer, go back to your downloads folder and then look for the GPU drivers, the version you're trying to roll back to or the version you're trying to install, and then just click to run this. Now, what I'd recommend at this point is that you can download it with the app, but the NVIDIA app will keep nagging you to download the latest graphics drivers. So if you're trying to stick to the current version because you're rolling back, I'd recommend just downloading the drivers themselves instead. Click on custom install and then I'd recommend removing the HD audio driver unless you use a 3.5 millimeter cable in your headset, for example, because I find that causes problems otherwise, or if you're using it on your monitor. Click the perform clean installation box and then just go about the installation process there. And then you should find that that's then doing the clean install of those drivers and hopefully solves your issue. This has been the Provoke Pro and thanks very much for watching. I hope this helped. Check out the links in the description to other videos you might also find useful. Thanks for watching. You've made it right to the end of the video, you brilliant legend you. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions. If you really enjoyed it, consider joining the channel and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos. You might well find them interesting or useful. And most importantly, have a great life.